Hi guys, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio. After a short break, let's continue with 2D Platformer. In this episode, I will show you how to easily change sprites and animations when a player picks up a shield. So let's select our player, go to Animator. And instead of uh, creating new states uh, and making new transitions with some conditions, we will make a new layer. So let's uh, delete uh, this and create a la layer, shield layer. Now let's go to settings and check sync. This uh, will synchronize a shield and a base layer. Now my shield uh, layer has exactly the same uh, transitions as my base layer, but in shield layer uh, we can change animations and run that animations when uh, we pick up shield. For example, here I have um, idle shield uh, sprites that I will use for animation. So let's uh, go to animation and uh, create new clip. I will call this shield idle and use these and uh, set this to 10 frames per second. Now in animator notice that in shield and base layer we have this shield state. So any change uh, you make, so if you create another you will also have this but uh, we don't need uh, neither of them, so delete them. And uh, in shield layer, select idle and use shield idle animation. See, here we have shield idle animation and in base layer, we have idle animation. Uh, so let's uh, try this, uh, click play, now we have uh, animation from base layer and if we change uh, layer weight from 0 to 1, we will have shield idle animation and if we set this to 0 again, we have animation from base layer. And this uh, uh, we will do in the script. Now let's go to player control script and here we will create public bool shield and function that we will use. Let's call it animation control and here we will say if a shield equals to false then we want to use our animator mm, anim so anim dot set layer weight and we want to set our shield layer so our layer index is 1 and we want to set this to zero so we want to to uh, run base layer and else so if it's true uh, then we want to set shield uh, layer weight to one okay and let's uh, set this to false okay now if we go to unity, uh, sorry, let's uh, call this function in 
update so animation control and now if we click play if we turn on and turn off it works now we will turn on a shield when a player picks up mm, this uh, shield so let's add this to scene let's add the uh, rigid body 2d and set the uh, gravity scale to zero or you can check is kinematic so if you don't know why we use rigid body go check my pick up tutorial and uh, let's add box collider 2d and set uh, this to trigger okay now let's uh, create a new c-sharp script shield pick up open that here we can delete this update first we need the player controls player c let's set up reference to this so player c equals to game game object that find object with tag player and we want to get component player controls so we can use uh, our shield uh, variable now uh, we, uh, we will say void on trigger enter to the collider to the other and if other that compare tag is player so if player enters uh, this trigger then we want to set player c that shield to true and we want to destroy this uh, shield so destroy game object great let's go back to unity and let's pick up shield uh, sorry oh I, did, I didn't add script so shield pick up okay let's click play great now uh, let's add uh, other animations uh, i already created them so in our shield layer for run i will use my shield run for crouch run i will use shield crouch run and here i need crouch shield idle okay now if i click play i can run but only thing uh, i uh, don't have jump animation so if you remember for jump animation uh, we use a blend uh, tree but in shield layer um, i don't have a blend tree i have empty animation clips so I need to create new blend tree now double click on this and here I need to uh, uh, manually create a new blend tree and use my jump shield animation if you don't know how to create blend tree go check my blend uh, tree tutorial after you are done uh, click play and uh, try to jump with shield and everything should uh, work so 
uh, this is all for this tutorial. In the next episode we will actually uh, add functionality to this shield so it can protect uh, us from arrows. Uh, if you like this video please uh, like, share and subscribe and uh, see you next week.